Hello everyone, this is Aaron with Full Impact Studios again. We're going to run through a video today about how to change the static or um, category images on a category page as well as changing the content on a particular category page that you've created within Magento. So, I am in the dashboard here of the company's website, <coughs> which we are finishing up on for category. If you want to change the category text on a category page, I'll show you an example. Here's a splendid in a category page. You can see here that this is just dummy text for right now. This is the image we're going to be looking at, uh, showing you how to replace. And you, for managing the actual content on the category page, you go to catalog, manage categories. And this is where a lot of people kind of get confused right away is that these are usually closed up when they first land on it and they don't see anything in this right side kind of looks like you should be doing something in it um, but that's not the that's not the case you pretty much want to kind of avoid this new root category because you're not going to be creating a new root category or a new subcategory you want to work with the existing ones that are already in place from your web developer such as us um, we're going to do Leon Arena first. As you can see here, here's the content area, here's the title. Don't pay attention to the image file here that is not the image file that is here. So we are going to grab the content off of the document here for Leon Arena. Copy the document, copy the text. Oh. Just a little bit down below. So I'm going to copy this back to the page. <coughs> I'm going to launch the WYSIWYG editor. It actually gives me some control settings. I'm going to enter it in here. Actually, I'm going to back that out. And I should enter it as text from a Word document. And I can control the actual spacing here. A lot more simple. I'm going to hit insert. I replace that other text. The coding on the page should already have it centered. So we don't need to worry about that. As well as the font should already be applied. So we're just going to hit submit. It's going to add that text into the description area. We are not going to change anything else. We are going to hit save on the category. And then we are going to go check our work. So we'll refresh this page. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong page. My apologies. In an arena. And there you go, the text is inputted, and that's the text for the page. Um, we're actually going to be working on reducing some of this extra space here. So it'll tighten it up a little bit, and we'll actually reduce on the spacing and the height of these images as well, which will pull everything up um, so you can actually get to the product pages or the product images uh, on the category page below. So that is how to edit the category page content. Once you've done that, obviously you want to make sure you hit save. Now we're going to go into the CMS. We're going to go to static blocks. Static blocks are images that are used on top of uh, CMS pages, category pages, that type of thing, depending on how you've coded them uh, with Magento. We're going to go to the Leon Arena page, or static block, excuse me. We want to see show, hide editor. This is where the images will jump into when they load there's a lot of images for Magento to load currently seven and they're a pretty decent file size so it's gonna take a second to load those um, you can click on the image and hit the delete button you do not want to delete these you <coughs> uh, list icons here those are actually the the unordered list or ordered list within the HTML code as you can see here
So you can see the code here. You'll see that this is an unordered list class for slides. They have it coded in. You copy this from start list to actually, it's, yeah, that gives you a break. So start list comes down here to end list with a close tag. So you have the start tag at list image. <clears throat> you have the alt, which would appear here for the image itself. I'll show you that. And then the end tag for it. So you copy this block of text here. You paste that either before this block or after this block. Um, if you want to place a new image into the slide, like you actually want to add another slide image in there. Um, another way to reorder the actual slides that are in place, say you didn't like a particular one being in a certain order, all you really have to do is collect the, grab the link that is the image source, all the way to here between the parentheses, or the quotation marks, excuse me. So it says here image source, and then you want to copy this, put it into an editor off to the side, copy another one, say it's this one, we want to make first last and last first, copy this one, paste it where this one is, grab the content off of the editor, paste it back into this one, and then hit update. And that will actually change the order that the images are appearing. Um, within the content block. So images are taking pretty long to upload so all you'd really need to do here is you see one of the images you make sure your cursor is placed behind it. Um, if the image is there and it pops up pretty fast uh, on your server just select the image with the mouse one click hit the back button one time to delete it. Once you've done that select the image icon here. I'm not sure why it always does this. It's kind of a bug in Magento. Open up the window here, go to grab the image URL location, it's going to grab the files that are on the server already. So as you can see here, this is going to load up and you'll be able to see all the files that are inside there that we already have currently loaded. You can create fold new folders, add files to those folders, that type of thing. We don't really have that at this point, we just kind of have one giant list. Uh, which is fine for this project. Um, you would select an image and then you could click the insert button here or you could double click the image and it will automatically close this window and we'll populate it into the tiny MCE into the file source here. It's kind of like grabbing an image to upload off your computer. Um, oh, I better show you that. So we'll go ahead and go back to here again. If you want to grab a, computer, a file off your computer, you just hit Browse Files, select the file off your computer. Once you've done that and you show the actual file link um, up above these images here and below the file selection, you select Upload Image, you actually see it upload and get a 100% marker. Once that happens, it'll be loaded into the images down here. You find the image, select it single, single to insert it, or double click and it will automatically close this window as I was saying and insert it here. So, and then here's the title. So the alt tag that was on that code, that is this title. So you'd want to type that in there so you could say whatever the image source is. If, it's your, if you're doing SEO you could call it an SEO related title. Um, you click insert. Once you've done that it'll actually replace the image that is here. So the only reason these images aren't loading is because it's loading up slow, they're not broken, as it shows. So once that is done, you then uh, scroll up to the top, hit Save Block, and you're all set. Just go back to the page, refresh the page, make sure that the image has changed, or the image order has changed. And uh, if you want to disable a particular block, you can disable it. Um, if you want to rename it for whatever reason, um, you mostly would be wanting to create a new one. So I'll go back. If you want to add a new block, say you want to create a new slideshow for a new page, just select Add Block, give it the block title and the identifier, and then dump in the code which you had copied from this block. So the best way is to just open a block 
that's already existing. Go to hide. And here you go to, well, you could just grab it there. Hide editor. Grab all this code here. Grab it, um, or copy it, excuse me. Go back. Notice you want to probably copy these two so you can have the identifier is important. Block title is just the title that you're using to find it within the static blocks. But the identifier is important because that's what's coded on a particular category page. So and I'm not sure why that's not loading. So but you get the point. Uh, that's pretty much um, how to change the images here, how to change the text here, and then uh, that's it. We're all set for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please uh, give us a thumbs up, share, share it with uh, anybody else that might be interested, um, and then uh, leave us a review if you have any questions or comments, and uh, we'll be making some more. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good day.